just spent the last week, two weeks, three weeks, depending on our families, running away from Yerushalayim. Put ourselves into that mindset. All right, look around. We're here with our, with those members of our families who survived the war against the Romans. We're standing at the bottom of Masada together, and Yitzhak just described, I believe, sort of, you know, the last two weeks of our life as if we were Jews, you know, 2,005 years ago. And we knew there was one place left on earth, right, where there's still a Jewish garrison. And here we've reached it. In those days, you followed after me in the wilderness. This time, I didn't come as a tourist, I came as a Jew, and I have to say, Yitzhak, thanks to you and the way you create the tour and, and, and not only sort of structure the curriculum, but also really paint the picture in each of these settings, I could place myself and my ancestors in those places, and it made all the difference. It's just more than just a guided tour, it actually connects you with your Jewish heritage. Being on a tour um, with Keshen has been wonderful because everything is planned out for you to experience because someone else is thinking of logistics and uh, we can just truly feel taken care of as, as we uh, as we explore. What was it like going through the tunnel? It was better than all the water rides at Universal Studios. <laughs> we had an enjoyable family experience getting through. And they did made extraordinary efforts to bring a multi-generational tour from grandparents to a two-year-old to Israel and to see the people who live here, to experience the life in the land and not just the landscape. So, so a generation would come, a generation would go, but this, for thousands of years, what they held on to was expecting to come back to Jerusalem. They're not home with their moms and dads. And, and they're here making it possible for us to stay in a hotel in Israel and to have a nice meal. And there really is. I mean, there really are rockets and guns pointed at them from 100 yards away. It's really very holy work that they do. It was exciting, it was interesting, it was very spiritual, and the physical contact with the land, the hiking, the swimming, the people, I think made it an extraordinary trip. One thing that I thought Kesha did extremely well was to understand that children and adults are different, which made for our family, the trip worked extremely well because kids were happy doing uh, things that made sense to them. We were happy doing things that made sense to us. And there was plenty of time for us to be together and do things that made sense to the entire family. <laughs> sort of your, your origins in this land. And what I found incredible about the Keshet experience, amongst other things, was 
in a very rationalist, clear way, which happens to affect your emotions, but with no hoopla, easily able to connect each and every spot in Israel to why we're there. This trip was very meaningful for me. It opened the door, and this time it was wide open. And it, it, it opened the door for me, Jewishly, Zionistically. I learned so much. I, it's changed my life. For thousands of years, it was an inconceivable idea that we would be able to do this. It's not only what's on the front page of the New York Times, but what's in our hearts as we go about creating this society. And I hope that as we travel the roads of Eretz Israel, that you also get a feeling of that sense of what it means to feel at home.